Okay. All right. Let's talk about uh, Gordon Tasca, uh, who it was uh, zero zero, uh, and uh, now as it stands, Tasca is still uh, at the top. At the top. Mm -hmm. um, so. Is, is it? I mean, there are still some games to play, but what do you think about uh, uh, the it, game? It's close, it's close. Yeah, First of all, uh, I think with the time, 65, 64. 65, Actually, Tasca topped with 65, right. got 64. Mm -hmm. And you can see there the footage of how that match went. Mm -hmm. From where I sit, I think in the last five years, the biggest game in Kenyan football, which even should be given more prominence, is Tasca against Gore. It's no longer Gore and Leopards because Leopards have not been challenging, except uh, the other day that they won, but they have been Gore's flower girls. Remember every season they have been saying, next season we are winning, uh, Shikanda giving lofty dreams, a new coach comes in, and it's the same thing over and over again. But you look at Tasca, they have been very, very compact, and they are challenging Gore's dominance. Actually, right now they've surpassed Leopards. They are the second most successful football club in Kenya. And I want to repeat from where I sit, Matano with his experience, he gonna peep Gore to this title. Because he studied and realized, Gore, there are frailties which the British coach has failed to address. I thought probably with now paying the wages now, uh, not a challenge thanks to the shirt uh, sponsors they have, but on the pitch, they are far from compact side that we knew. Uh, Benson Omala used to bail them out. Uh, suddenly, the goals have dried up on him. Uh, remember, there was discussion, could he break Maurice Sonny's record, a 26-goal record, which Sonny uh, cited, I think, in 1976, if I'm not wrong. I don't think Benson gonna break that record. And Matano, what he brings to the team, by the way, Matano has some similarities with Pep. No nonsense. You could be Raburu, but you play rubbish next. Bench. Yeah, so Matano <laughs> has that. Uh, it's either his way or the highway. Right. <coughs> if you don't play to the tactics he's set there, you're going to be in trouble. So again, if you look at that, I think Tasca could just peep Gore to this title. Gore again, the coming of the, uh, on board of that uh, gaming farm is just, uh, let me say, a smokescreen. The smart underlying tr uh, troubles they have, which they've not addressed. And because now there seems to be some order there, even their fan base have forgotten their issues we need to address. Yeah. Lastly for me, what would be a standout for me, maybe for Leopards, because we just have three, four games to go before this season comes to an end. Leopards fans, and kudos to them, the Ingwe Nation, they've been coming to the stadium record number. They've offered the most uh, vociferous support you would get. Goma here fans are no longer coming to the stadium like they used to. So if I were done Shikanda, uh, I would build on that. And as I said, the biggest problem we have, and probably even people have been questioning us, and even probably now they are questioning us, why is it that KPL doesn't get a lot of airtime? Maybe on our print papers, on our radios, and maybe on our TVs. It's because that product, is it marketable? Is it visible enough? For this product to become enticing, not just to the consumer and probably the corporate, number one, Shikanda, Rachier, and all the 18 club chairmen, plus the federation, what they need to do is to invest in Arocho, to invest in Shitera as a fan, and make sure that these fans troop to our sports arena. Once we have those fans there, those corporates will just come naturally. Then now the technical bench for Goma here, Leopards, Muhoroni, name them, can you now invest on getting quality football in that stadia. Before we address this, we are going to get the slack of all oh, media houses are too slanted towards EPL, but they're gonna go where the money is. They're gonna go to a product they're gonna sell. They're gonna go to where the numbers are showing. So that's the challenge I'm leaving uh, Nick Mwendo with, Rachir, Shikanda, uh, uh, Twahir Muhidin in Bandari, and all these fellas who are managing the top tier and even the National uh, Super League. Get the fan back to the stadium, offer them quality football, ensure the officiating is top-notch, 
and all the other things will fall into place. Before you dress that, it will be a circus, season in, season out. Actually, there is a team that is doing it, apparently. Uh, in KPL? In, in KPL, Women Premier League. Okay. <laughs> Bigger Queens. Bigger Queens. I, I was at uh, the Police Circle Stadium on uh, Saturday watching Vihiga Queens uh, oh, against Gaspo, uh, where, whereby uh, Vihiga won uh, uh, Mora Bundi scoring a brace. And you can clearly see the quality football uh, in our women Premier League. As I was still seated, there is a team that was moving around uh, with smartphones registering members. And a lady uh, gave me a phone and asked me, would you like to be a fan, a supporter of Vihiga Queens? Actually, it is very difficult to refuse. So I filled in my form. And you're in there now. <laughs> and, uh, automatically, I'm a fan of Vihiga Queens. Yes. And you see, these are the, the, the pictures that we love on our screens. Look at those girls. Very promising. But unfortunately, <sighs> Uh, on one side, I would say uh, the, the, the FKF has really done so well to uh, give the ladies that platform to bring out the talent. And look at the talent these girls are displaying uh, in as much as we are talking about uh, men's football. These girls have talent. I saw some pictures of um, now the trophy because uh, they took it back home, uh, mm -hmm. their stadium called Kidundu Stadium. And I saw even old women uh, trying to uh, get the feel of that trophy. These are very good uh, moments uh, uh, in our football, I would say. And the FKF, uh, the media, and every stakeholder uh, is to try and embrace all this and support. This is what Tanzania have done. And they are back on the map as the best uh, country, uh, the best league in the region. So it is doable. But the question but I'm asking is, where is the money? Where is the money? Well, uh, I, I think uh, we, we are over. We, we are over emphasizing uh, um, uh, things that need not to be overemphasized. Look at the fact that uh, uh, Viga went home with one million. The other time, they were, the winners were paid three hundred thousand. Surely, it's a big joke. For me, it's a big joke. I don't even know why we are talking about uh, praising people giving. You can play for nine months, given one million. Do you know moving from Nairobi to Mombasa for these ladies, they spend close to 300,000. Correct. For one match, and then you pay them one million. Look at the fact that Gaspo left that pitch without a coin. After playing for nine months, and they were, they were, they were the runners up of this league. Guys, let's be serious. Football in this country is not, is not serious. Look at the fact that the top league, the men top league, somebody the other day said that there won't be money. Surely. You know, we, we, we are jokers. Who is this? Um, the FKF president said that uh, the, the winner of uh, the Kenya Premier League this might year. not. Yes, might not. So, uh, so Zeme Tasko Ashinde? Might, wo, might, wo, might. Just in a I, I'm, I'm using the might, might go might. home without a coin. Might. Guys, let's be serious. If we cannot manage football, let's stay at home. Because football is big business. Gormaya to travel from Nairobi to take a flight to, to Mombasa and back, they spend close to half a million. Thank you, Arocha. Allow me to come in there, Guru. Then when you because of your time, they are going home. you see, what Arocha is raising is yeah, very, very weighty. But as much as the Federation has dropped the ball at one point or the other, the government hasn't done well. We need to look them in the eye and tell them the truth. Look at functional or functioning leagues. The government will question how much are league champions taking home. We have in place the sports fund whose core mandate was to ensure that the sports federations and national teams are well supported. How much is the sports fund raising? How much is this government intentionally by design pumping even into our leagues to make it better. You go to boardroom probably in Kenkomo or wherever and ask probably a Babu Namwamba, maybe won't give you a direct answer. Even the number one man who sits at State House, he's told us I'm in charge, you guys now ask me the questions about the state and all that. These two he needs to know. 
we must to make our league profitable and viable and have every reason why Raburu's son can take this as a career. So he doesn't stop at the Federation. Mr. Namwamba needs to address this. He needs to address his boss, uh, William Root, on this. And we know maybe going forward, this is the workable long-term plan we're going to have. Next term, probably we're going to increase this amount. When we've been talking about Gormaya getting one million or two million for winning KPL, in South Africa, the domestic league, which is equivalent of FKF Cup, they're taking home 100 million. We are jokers. It actually gives you motivation. Absolutely. We are big jokers. Quality. All right. So we'll end it there and uh, say we are watching. We ask the government to wipe, wipe away the clown paint and get serious with football in this country and uh, other stakeholders as well, including FKF, because we will be here reminding you until something is done. But surely for... <laughs> The president Kusema at Sasa Mucheze two mungangane injuries, nini nini spend, and then you might walk away with, with just a trophy. But I'll wapatia something to smile about. If you have Goma and FC Leopards, what? one million, one million each. But, That's a good guess. Yeah. But it should be a million <laughs> dollars per game, the rest. No, it's a good beginning. Aye. That's pocket change. Anyway. I'd spend right. that one million in a day. <laughs> <laughs> so in short, FC Leopards and Goma uh, were already given their time. We must have structures. We shall have structures and sit. Pole Pole will be there. Akuna Pole Pole, now Pole Pole ne metufanya We are behind Sisi schedule. Sisi ni watu wakuenda mbele. Wenda Pole hajikuwai. Aye. Akuna kitu kama Hizo ndo kutu zera drag back at pole pole. Let's just take it one day at a time. And every financial year there is money allocated. Peace and love. <laughs> <laughs>